Hi guys, it's Katie. Thought I'd show you a look around the garden. These are the grapes. And I'll show you what's going on over here. I uh, just laid some cardboard down. We're gonna lay some mulch here. Um, this is just kind of a weedy patch. It's just a small little area, but um, the gate does swing here, so we can't put too much on this end, but I don't want it to be weeds anymore. I did actually put some sunflowers in here, which I'm not seeing now. I saw them sprouting up yesterday. I just threw them straight in. I had some old seeds. They did come up, but they're gone now, so I don't know if something ate them. Here I have some, sorry, just a few seeds. These are okra. Um, I replanted these skips, and they're coming up now too, so we'll have six okra for my husband to put in his garden. That's a zucchini, and then these are supposed to be cucumbers. They're not coming up, so I'm going to have to replant those. There's my bay plant, some garbage. The bed here is finished. Um, the bed itself is finished. Here I put some more sunflowers. I just threw them in here. Um, actually, even before my husband finished building this. So he put, he had a couple bags of dirt that he threw in just to kind of level it out. He's going to put um, mulch on top. And then the gutter situation is still kind of in progress. So he put this cinder block here just so people wouldn't like trip on this. So he's going to, I don't know, cut this shorter or do something. Um, so that the water can come out of the gutter there. So that's all done. There's some mulch. He also made a little platform for the rain barrel to help divert the water away from the, you know, the house, basically. It's just the porch, but anyway. So that's the rain barrel. It's been empty for several days. We haven't been getting any rain after all that rain this spring. So here's the little one's garden. I need to come out here and clean out. There's still some <laughs> random radishes, like this one is already flowering. I need to pull that out. And something's eating all the cruciferous vegetables. It's getting kind of hot for them anyway. Um, but I do have some Swiss chard in here. So Swiss chard there and there. It's not, it doesn't seem like it's growing all that much. And then the kale still going to seed. And some kale here you my husband's garden he put some things in he's been watering it by sprinkler because sometimes he comes home a little late and it's just a little easier for him so there's something growing here he put weed block down so I don't know if this came with the mulch looks like some sort of squash or cucumber back up please and then back here he put his um, asparagus he did get some watermelons from a fundraiser thing at the school so there's three watermelons there's some back there so he's gonna let it trail out I think when he built this he expected there to be more like room where the mulch is but anyway they'll have some area to trail without getting too much into the lawn here I gave him one of my tomatillos that was volunteering in my garden this is the rooster spur and it's already got some peppers on it and then back here, he just went to Home Depot and bought some tomatoes. I think these are, oh no, actually his co-worker gave these to him. But they're from, like, Big Back store. So Parks Whopper is this one. Are you watering? It's not hooked up to the hose. Um, and then, I don't know. These are like, they're just like big boys and better boys. Just hybrids. Yeah, that's big boy. And then this one I think was better boy. And they're doing pretty good. They've grown a lot since they went in the ground. And again, back there are the watermelons. Here's his fig. I weeded out here, but you, you wouldn't really tell. Lots of new tiny baby leaves. Very cool. I don't see any signs of fruiting yet, but that's all right. Here's the strawberries. I don't know, last year I got so many strawberries, so I don't know what, if they're coming, if there's a second. I know there's two different kinds of strawberries in here, um, but we had just a few little small pickings of strawberries and then I haven't even seen too many flowers except for these so I don't know if more are coming or if that's all we're getting this year there's the bed we already saw I'll show you on this side because I forgot to show you the broccoli which I had said from the beginning I don't know if anything's gonna come of it and yeah it's still really small this is my kale going to seed project and there's that let's go over here lettuce you can see it's bolting. It's all bitter. I need to pull it all out because these smaller plants that I planted from transplant, um, well, this one's bolted. 
This one might be the last one that I could eat off of. The rest of it's all bitter, so it needs to go. This was a volunteer tomato. I'm pretty sure it's a cherry tomato because that's what was here last year. And then that is a yellow jalapeno. I want to get a lot more jalapenos. Actually, I planted some seeds, some older seeds, where these sticks are. So I planted three. Nothing's come up, so I don't know. It's getting kind of late to start peppers from seeds. So I might just have to break down and get a four pack or something because I want a lot of jalapenos. I ferment a lot of jalapenos. I planted some green beans here, um, but it didn't really rain and I don't really water my garden every day. So they've kind of just been waiting, I think, until they rain. So just one has come up near this end. I put those flat Roma beans and then here, anticipating that I was going to pull this lettuce out soon, I planted some yellow wax beans. Okay, tomatoes are doing very well. So this is um, the black creme, already lots of fruit on there. So excited about these tomatoes. And so far so good on the blossom end rot. No signs of that. I did put Epsom salts in the hole before I planted the tomato plant. So I put a sprinkling of um, this fish bone based fertilizer like a tablespoon of it and then like us just a sprinkling of epsom salts gives a magnesium supplement to help prevent that this is another tomatillo i'll probably pull that out i planted a few seeds around here so marigolds only one marigold came up those were um saved seeds so you know you never know how they're gonna do i planted some nasturtiums here they came up i planted a whole pack of basil seeds i think this is a tomatillo I planted a whole pack of basil seeds, brand new ones I just bought, and a single one has come up. Same thing out front, I planted an entire pack, not a single thing came up. This big one is the black cherry, and lots of fruit showing on there as well. And they look very good. These two things are tomatillos. Um, so actually there's two in this cage. They were all volunteers, and then this one's kind of flopped over, but there's a, oh, sorry, there's a beetle. It's going to get it. Those striped beetles, uh, I think, are foes, not friends. Um, so, yeah, I would probably just train this up the side of this cage, because I don't have any more cages. My husband needs to get some cages for his tomatoes. This was a volunteer. I have no idea what it is, but actually I had... Um, Roma tomatoes, and now, let's see, where did they go? <laughs> Here, looks like this is some sort of Roma tomato, paste tomato. Uh, I can't remember the exact variety that was here last year. I don't take very good notes, even though I film these videos, I could go back and watch a video, but. And then this is the Japanese black truffle, also looking awesome. This one, it looks like something's living inside of it. Or maybe it's just um, splitting. There's lots of fruit down there. And so far so good on the, you know, the yellowing leaves or any sort of fungus or blight on the lower leaves. I should probably take these lower leaves off. Some dandelions. And another tomatillo. <laughs> Looks like birds sit on these um, cages and then that's why there's all this bird poop. I had some. Tomatillo fruit, but I can't seem to find any right this second. Lots of flowers though. Maybe they're dropping off since the plant wasn't quite big enough. Oh, yeah, I don't see any right now. That's all right. There's the garlic. It's starting to fall over, which means it should be time to harvest soon. But I'm not seeing any scapes, so I don't know. Maybe I won't get scapes. Dill going to seed. This is why I always have <laughs> dill in the garden, because it just goes to seed. This is a pretty decent sized tomato. If I can pull these onions and garlic out and save these tomatoes, I will. These are those volunteers, most likely from that big tomato plant that um, just took over this whole bed. So hopefully we'll get another big crop of tomatoes. There's onions here. Whew, I feel like I'm out of breath. Apple tree, so sad. This is the other fig. There's a third fig. I keep forgetting to show it in the videos. I'll try to remember to show it this time. I also planted a bunch of sunflowers all along here. I had some older seeds, so I just threw them all in. Blueberry. 
Uh, not really expecting anything from it this year since it is so small and the raspberries still look like sticks. There's the hops all the way up. Uh, let's see, there's five strings and four of the five are already at the top. So lots of hops. And then I'll show you the Concord grapes. And my husband's been spraying a fungicide, um, but it still looks like there's some spots on the leaves, but let's see. I think that's everything going on in the garden. Horseradish isn't looking so great up there. And the mint, I'll show you the mint bed. The mint has some spots all over it, which I don't know what that's all about. Some brown spots all over the leaves. Every year my husband's like, can I take the mint bed out? Can I kill the mint? Like, yeah, sure, if you want to. Uh, I don't exactly know what he's going to do here. Um, I don't know. Put some flowering shrubs or something in here. But I told him, as long as he doesn't use, <laughs> you know, napalm or anything like that, chemical warfare, too bad on it, um, you know, to the point where we can't grow edible crops in the same land or the same spot. He can do whatever he wants to this mint because I do use it, but I... I don't really care that much about it. So that'll be another project now that he's finished these other projects. Well, this one's nearly finished. He just needs to lay this mulch. Hopefully we can <laughs> control that mint a little bit better. But there is everything. All right. I'll see you guys next time for my next uh, garden update. Hopefully we'll see some new things in the next month. Thanks for watching.